Welcome investors, Joe here. I am very, very, very concerned about the technical uh, pattern that has developed in Microsoft. This is the first time in seven or eight years that I've seen Microsoft break down like this. And you guys make your own investment decisions, but if I had a long position in Microsoft, I absolutely would be reducing um, Exposure, that is selling at least some of my shares. And so let's talk about this head and shoulders top that you see on the chart um, right now. And let's also look at the long-term chart and I'll show you the ominous uh, picture developing. And let's use the famous company of Cisco, the tech company, as our guide for what potentially could happen and the only thing I ask of you is if you could like the video if you get something out of it would really appreciate that and just remember this is not financial advice I'm not a financial advisor I have been doing technical analysis since I got started in 1996 so first let's not look not at Microsoft but let's look at the famous uh, tech company of Cisco systems as you can see from 1990 to 2000 it had a spectacular strong run and then a huge sell-off in the dot-com crash but what I want you to see is it took 20 full years to get back to its all-time high now if we look at Microsoft we'll get to that head and shoulders top in a minute I promise you here is um, from 2003 to 2022 and you can see it kind of consolidated this is called a stage one base and then this is about as perfect of a stage two stage two uptrend as you're going to get this is a pretty um, you know not a very concerning base neither of these this is a very um, vertical angle but that was the COVID crash and every single stock in the market did that except for zoom right um, or maybe Peloton but here we have this major breakdown. My concern is that yes, Microsoft is an amazing company. Yes, it has outstanding fundamentals, but it only has a 1% dividend and it potentially could um, continue sliding lower and then base literally for years, literally like Cisco for 20 years. Do you want to be sliding sideways for 20 years? Tell you what, I sure don't. Now, and I might be being an alarmist, this is just one scenario, but this is definitely um, a potential scenario. Now let's get back. This is not a perfect my head and shoulders top, but it's pretty typical. So, and the pattern is pretty self-explanatory. And the bigger the pattern, the more valid it is. If you see a little head and shoulders top form um, over a month's time, chances are that's not going to lead to a dramatic breakdown but this is a um, pattern that's been brewing for what nine months now you've got a shoulder here um, it made kind of a, um, almost a high tight flag but then it failed broke beneath the 50-day average regained the 50-day ran again a nice volume had this big uh, so this is a indecision doji right here and then it had this big um, wide ranging day candle that ended near the low of its day if you were a real astute technical analysis you might have gotten out right there here you got a nice double bottom which failed and then it came back down and then it started to hang out beneath the 200 day exponential moving average nothing good happens beneath the 200 day exponential moving average now we got big vol by volume here and then it tried um, and succeeded in regaining the 50-day exponential moving average but look at the buy volume do you see how weak this buy volume is the ver this it's really weak compl compared to this and this that means the enthusiasm is waning and um, yeah so and if you look at head and shoulders tops traditionally uh, this is what happens albeit ideally you want to see the left shoulder above the right shoulder you want to see enthusiasm be weaker during the right shoulder but uh, I think we are splitting hairs here so what you do when you see this developing you draw a neckline now the neckline is always 
an art, not a science. You could make a case for drawing it right here. But certainly we have a little congestion here. So this is where I put it. And so it, it eventually, um, to confirm, it needs to plunge through the neckline on high cell volume, which it absolutely has done. And then usually it will come back and test that neckline and what was support becomes resistance. And sure enough, in May, Microsoft came up, tested the neckline, and now it's fading again. I went short right in here and I'm planning to hold this. Well, we'll just see. You know, I might close it on Monday if it suddenly spikes up above 280 or something. But I, I think I'll have this short on for at least a few days, maybe a few weeks. So I really see no reason um, to hold a big position in Microsoft right now. Certainly if it if it suddenly flattened out and then regained its 50-day moving average at 280 and then regained its 200-day, then I would then I think we could breathe a sigh of relief. I honestly don't see that happening. I hope I'm wrong, but I honestly don't see that happening. Um, if I were going to go long this stock, I would probably wait until it cleared the right shoulder here at 315. But what I see it what I see it doing is um, breaking down here and coming down, gosh, I don't know, maybe to 200, maybe to 150, flattening out and then beginning a long slog back up. Kind of something like we saw here with Cisco. Well, those are my remarks. And uh, for, I know some of you have huge long positions in this. And I really do hope I'm wrong. But usually, um, hoping doesn't change anything. We have to do what the charts tell us. My, my short position is small. I would be glad to close that out for break even. But I just wanted to warn all of you guys. I know, like I said, a lot of you have big positions in Microsoft. And for, what, 10 years, this has been one of the best stocks in the market. But honestly, I don't think it is. I think it is at best is going to underperform and at worst it is going to break down hard. Well, let me know your thoughts. Uh, am I wrong? <laughs> let me know why. And if you if you do consider putting on a short, it's just a little oversold here. I would wait for it to come up. This is the 10 day exponential moving average. I would wait for it to come up and um, get close to that 10, 10 day exponential Again, we might see another retest of this neckline too. We might see it come all the way up to 265 or even 270. So you could wait and initiate a short if it falls off of there. Okay, I've rattled on long enough. Hope you guys have a great week. I do hope that market bottom comes next week. We'll see. Every day is a new day. Take care, everybody.